50% of your body weight is when standing in a normal posture with equal weight through both legs. You can stand at the sink or in the shower without using an assisted device as long as you are pain free with equal weight through both legs. Try not to shift your weight to the non-surgical side. If pain is present when attempting 50% weight bearing, then use the crutches to take the weight off the surgical leg. When taking a step with your non-surgical leg, your arms must take 50% of the weight through the crutches to maintain this weight-bearing status. When rising from a chair with 50% weight-bearing, both feet can be on the ground with equal weight through them. Keep feet and knees shoulder width apart for better stability and use of your buttocks. Place crutches in each hand and have them in the ready position when you stand. Tighten your abdominals and buttocks and while maintaining an upright posture, rise up from the chair. If you don't feel comfortable with crutches in each hand, you may put crutches in one hand and use the armrest from the chair to help you stand up. Stand with the crutches under your arms with the palm of your hands on the handles of the crutches. Position the crutches at a 45 degree angle from your feet, slightly forward and away from your body. While maintaining an upright posture, advance your surgical leg to the crutches. While applying weight through the surgical leg and the crutches, advance the non-surgical leg forward. The weight distributed through the crutches will be placed through your hands. Continue to repeat this sequence. Crutches, surgical leg, non-surgical leg. Crutches, surgical leg, non-surgical leg. As you advance the surgical leg, make sure the heel of your foot touches the ground first and then the rest of the foot. This will help to maintain the normal heel-to-toe gait pattern and help with walking in the future. As you feel comfortable and confident on the crutches, you may start to move the crutches as you advance the surgical leg at the same time, as long as you tolerate the weight without pain or limping. Work towards achieving a normal stride length. When going up the stairs, start close to the bottom step. Place the weight through your crutches and step up to the next step with your non-surgical leg followed by your surgical leg, then the crutches. Maintain your weight-bearing status while advancing to the next step. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart to assist in balance. Repeat the sequence. Non-surgical leg, surgical leg, crutches. Non-surgical leg, surgical leg, crutches. Remember the saying, up with the good. When going down the stairs, place the crutches down on the next step. Step down with the surgical leg first by lowering down with the non-surgical leg. Then step down with the non-surgical leg while maintaining your weight-bearing status. Make sure you have your balance and repeat the sequence. Crutches, surgical leg, non-surgical leg. Crutches, surgical leg, non-surgical leg. Remember the saying, down with the bad.